relocated, all of this. Why? We don't feel safe. We feel like our privacy is being violated. Well, we want them to go dig my brother up before all out-of-state people come get him. And that's what I'm, and that's the purpose for them. Because they're all in cahoots. We're throwing the medical examiners under the bus. We're throwing all of them under the bus. We met a lady, a young lady just here now, searching for answers for three years about her son. I didn't know this lady from Adam or Eve. She just was here, and God sent us both here at the same time. She's searching because a, a two like my brother died and police restraint, as they said, clearly to stay on his autopsy, of course, which had nothing to do with doing an autopsy, nothing. He was brutally murdered, smothered, beat to death for more than that. Think about this. Freddie Gray, right? Only two officers before they put him in a van. We got six on trial now, but two mainly did that physical stuff to his spine, right? We think about Anthony Anson, which was two to three officers, and he had a ruptured spleen and so many broken ribs, okay? Think about Tyrone West, an unarmed man that was brutally beat, pepper spray tased by 11 to 15 Baltimore City police officers. So now it is time for Tyrone West to speak and tell what happened to him. That's why we're getting this body exam, and I dare somebody not to sign off on that permit. I dare you. And why the hell we gotta go get somebody signed up for anything? They didn't sign off for them from the door to the ground. Why the hell we gotta get them to sign off now? It's a bunch of foolishness. Why we gotta put our blood with information so they can go dig them back up and the lady had the nerve from the funeral home to tell me, well, you're protected by my Are you kidding me? The same mother that let one and all man get brutally murdered? This is a bunch of foolish, and I'm gonna let my mind speak, but I want to say, so, and that's why we're definitely demanding that our state's attorney open this back up and give us a real investigation. You can't call what took place a real investigation when you had Commissioner Betts, who was friends with the person hitting the uh, internal investigation. How was that by? How long was that not by? You? He's that friend, and he was the one, and everything he said in that report regurgitated what the killer cops said. And they admit to 32 things that they did wrong besides brutally murder one unarmed man. And what kept them from going all the way under the bus is this medical exam is all undetermined, foolishness. And it took them 154 days, 154 days to come back to my family with some lies. They had his body for five days. They wouldn't even let us get him. When my brothers identified him, we had the money we wanted to see all them. When people said we was going to need a closed casket, that's how bad they beat him. And all we asked for was fairness, honesty. That's it. That's it. That's what we've been begging for. We got the truth going to come out. Now, we're not even gonna let it be watered down with positional asphyxiation. Yeah, you know, that sound harsh and that sound cruel, but that don't, that don't end there. I wanna know how many broke bones, how many broke ramps every day. You will not do this to me. You will not do this to our family. And I'm gonna let my beautiful mom and my both of them speak my We're here in front of the medical examiner's office because this is where it started. These lies. They're gonna tell a mother who's been with a child all his life that my child died from a bad heart. A mother would have known this. I would have known my child had a bad heart. He never had a heart problem or heart condition. He was the healthiest person in our family. So you, they thought they could tell my family anything about Tyrone West. But let me tell you something. When you started that lie to this family, that's when we knew we had to stand up for Tyrone and we had to get the right answer. That's right. They sent Lieutenant Colonel Russell to my house that's the right. next day when my son was brutally murdered. They never told my family how he died. This man, Lieutenant Colonel Russell, looked my family in the face just to say, did Tyrone have any medical problems? Do you know what my family said? Hell no! He never had any medical problems. Don't come at us wrong. And from that day, we knew the cover-up had begun. So we've been out here since they murdered Tyrone. We've been out here walking these streets to try to get the right answer. Like we said before, you 
killed the wrong man, but you got the right family. Mm. And we will never give up until we get to the truth. Because as you very well see, we are Tyrone West's voice. We'll never give up because we love him. We love him. And when you love somebody and you know that person, you will not take anything from what these people said, you will not accept lies. We're going to fight because we know who they are and we know what they did. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Justice for Tyrone West. 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 Let me let my sister speak. Before this happened to Tyrone, a month before this happened to Tyrone, he had a complete physical and he was help really, me. really help healthy. Help he was a healthy boy. He, he was so healthy that he would help his grandmother, our mother, do her exercises every morning. Boy, he would even pick her up and bring her down the steps, take her up the steps, and the boy just kept on going, going, going. He was fat and healthy. So you cannot tell us that he died. Don't tell way. Us you beat him to death. And as for Mosby, when you were running for state's attorney, you said hey. that you would Help be us. a good state's attorney and you would Help check us. into everything. Help now, us. please do not turn your back on us, Marilyn Mosby. Please do not turn your back on us. And the thing I remember mostly about you, Merlin Mosby, is that my brother over there, Clifton right. Anderson, he said to you, That's right. you seem like a little small girl, you can't do your job. And you said, everyone thinks this, but I'm going to do my job. So Merlin Mosby, I'm going to watch you do your job for Tyrone West. Do your job. Do your job. I'm Tyrone, Ro Tyrone West's uncle. And three years, three years ago, Y'all beat my nephew to death. Yes, they did. And I had to live with that and watch my family just decay. And I've been sick myself. But I determined I didn't want to die without an answer for why y'all, the eight officers and two males, two females, beat my nephew to death. You didn't have to beat him to death. If you had anything on him, you could have made an arrest. It don't take eight people, ten people, to beat somebody to death. One unarmed man. You beat him, you kicked him, you broke his neck, you stomped him, Everything. you beat him with your batons, you should have seen his body. And then y'all medical examiners get in cahoots with the police officers and try to cover that bullshit up. And Marilyn, Mosley, I know you can re remember me. I told you when you first got it running for the office that you weren't going to do a good job. But you told me that you was out to prove me wrong. Absolutely. And I've been watching you ever since. You don't even want to reopen my nephew's case. You don't went to Freddie Gray and everybody else's case. Y'all trying to kick my nephew up underneath the curb. Right. He was the first case. The first. The very first case that was brutally beaten by the police officers. And we went on uh, a, a, a journey of showing y'all that we wanted justice. And we did it in a fair way. Yes, we did. What are you waiting for? You're trying to push my family to the bitter end. But we're going to tell you right now, we're not going to stop. Right. We're not going to give up. We will not rest. And if God keep me here, I'll be right here to let you know yes. that we ain't finished yet. That's right. And I just wanted to add about the independent foolishness that was hated by James Stewart Chip. He was the one who did it, right? But that was Commissioner's back, best friend. Like he brought up from Oakland to come do something on my brother. Like, are you kidding me? How can that be fair and transparent? And the crazy part about it, so if you go back to the independent foolishness, you will see on the first page when Nicholas Davis Chapman asked for my brother's identification card, his driveway, which he displayed it, which, by the way, I'm wondering what part did he ask for that? He pulled them out by his grill like and started beating them and pepper spraying them and tasing them and kicking them. Stop them. But anyway, he said that, but how in the hell do I have my brother's driver's license to this day? And I want to know who in the hell broke in my brother's house the very next day after he was brutally murdered. And I have all this, like I have everything, black and white documents. So you're not going to get over on this damn family. You will not get over on this family. And so like I said, if anything, so we going to get this body exhumed right now, and we're doing that. We ain't waiting. We were talking about some permission. We ain't get, they ain't get permission from us to kill them. 
So why the hell we need permission from anybody? But I'm waiting for them not to sign up. I'm like, you know, don't sign your name on that dotted line. Trust and believe me, you're behind this mind. We will be out there every single day. West Wednesday, every day, we'll be held in front of your office. I'm not playing with y'all. Enough's enough. I'm not playing. Say goodbye to the nice guy. I'm tired of being nice. But I still will be respectful because we do things in decency and order and love. That's what, we love our love. We never did nothing out of hate and anger. That's what got my brother killed. Got a loving soul killed because some angry, angry, hateful people. Animals.